Hey everybody, how you doing? It's Bruce here, Stock Markets with Bruce with a late update on GameStop. Thank you all of you for subscribing to my channel, Stock Markets with Bruce. We have over 47,000 subscribers. I can't believe it. Thumbs ups, PayPal donations. You guys are unbelievable. We're going to talk GameStop. Update for today, uh, today's date, February the 3rd, Wednesday, and uh, this video is a bad news good news video. Um, I figured I'd get the bad news out of the way first and then tell you the good news. For those of you who weren't following me live today, uh, I'm just going to give you a quick recap of what happened here and what you should be aware of. First things first, the bad news, the shares uh, have fallen since last Thursday from the $400 mark to the 300 range, the 200 range, all the way down to 90 and uh, they did not recover at all today. They were flatline. Uh, if you take a look at the chart here, you'll see Thursday. That's uh, the stock started with a bit of a shot up over the 400 mark, then took a real drop when uh, investors were forbidden to buy shares with a number of brokerage firms. They could only sell. Uh, what do you think is going to happen when you can't buy stock? Uh, yeah, it goes down. Uh, it recovered a little bit uh, on Thursday afternoon. Friday, it opened with a bit of an opening and then just slowly deteriorated back down in price. Monday, it shot right down off the opening. All kinds of sellouts Monday morning until it closed at about $194 at the end of the day. Tuesday, again, another shot down. That was yesterday. And uh, she then meandered along and slowly dribbled down to the $90 mark. This morning and all day today, Wednesday, the stock was basically almost a flat line. The uh, range between high and low was about 30 bucks. That actually is the beginning of the good news because even though the shares didn't do a recovery today, they have stopped falling for the moment. And you can thank this guy right here for part of that uh, reason. The company made their first announcement in weeks. And uh, I have been begging these guys, please say something. And they made a pretty interesting announcement today. Mr. Ryan Cohn here has started stealing people from other companies to join GameStop because this gentleman is going to convert GameStop away from this. He is taking the company away from the brick and mortar model that they were founded on. And he's going to convert GameStop to an e-commerce model online selling machine and I think they're going to make a lot more money because they're giving away 5,000 leases and they're going to be working out of giant warehouses to fulfill orders worldwide. The three people were hired and uh, they were stolen from other companies. The first person uh, stolen was Matt Francis. He's going to become the chief technology officer. He was stolen from Amazon that just yesterday announced record earnings from their online marketing. They, uh, this gentleman also has worked in the past with QVC and with Zulily. A lot of experience there. The second person stolen was Kelly Durkin. She's going to become the Senior Vice President of Customer Care for GameStop. She was stolen from Chewy. That is the company that Mr. Cohen uh, co-founded and he is now picking off key people at different companies. The third person, Josh Kruger, he's going to become the Vice President of Fulfillment. He's also an Amazon and ex-Walmart and QVC guy. We're talking about some senior people here that are probably going to have hundreds of employees working underneath them. This company is starting to spend major money on their e-commerce strategy and they will close down a bunch of their uh, brick and mortar stores. The overseas stores are likely to be sold off. They'll likely bring in upwards of 600 million in cash, rumor has it. And that cash and the fact that they are going to let go tens of thousands of workers who work in these small little shops um, will allow them to, uh, in effect, redirect the funds that they were spending on rents in 5,000 different locations, salaries for tens of thousands of people, and now they will just uh, have everyone working at their distribution warehouses and in their uh, their IT departments. Um, the folks in New York here, the brokers, uh, they're not yet fully aware of the end game, although uh, even if they are, uh, they're really not doing much about it. Uh, the shares, as I say, were as high as $438 a few days ago last week. And these gentlemen here and ladies and gentlemen are watching all these stocks trade around the world. Uh, hedge fund traders have exactly these kinds of systems. And they are all <clears throat> wondering 
what to do with GameStop. Uh, first things first, though, the stock had to have a fallout. Uh, they went way too high, way too fast, uh, because they were in the $20 range about a month ago. Then they went to 30 and 50 Then they took off and went upwards of to $400 plus, all in less than a week. That is too far, too much, too soon, and now the shares are consolidating. The question is, will the shares go back to 20 bucks a share, as some pessimists are saying, or will the shares find a, a new lower level in this uh, 90 range, 70 range, 80 range, $100 range, and begin, begin to build from here as the corporate story, the big shift becomes known by folks here on the uh, New York Stock Exchange analysts in New York. We're going to have to wait and see. Um, today, this announcement that was made by the company was a, the first of, I think, will be several. There are likely to be a number of announcements going forward with additional hires. Don't think that they've only hired three people so far. Something tells me they have got their sights set on a whole bunch of people they're going to bring in to transform the company. I think the days are over for the shares to be trading at $4.14. Uh, going back in time, you can see here how the shares have never, ever been to $90 before. Forget about the $400 price. These shares never hit $400. Back in 2015, they were in the 50s. And that was really <clears throat> as high as this company really has been. That's a 10-year chart right there. And you can see this shares never hit 90 bucks a share. So those of you who are disappointed that the shares are 90 odd dollars a share right now, you have to keep in mind they've never been here before other than last week when they took a shot a little too far too fast. We'll have to follow. We will follow this. We'll keep an eye on it. We'll see how this all works out. Here again is the closing uh, chart for Tuesday and Wednesday, yesterday and today, February the 2nd and 3rd, 2021. And uh, we can see here how it's almost a straight line right across in the $90 neighborhood. Uh, volume was still in the 40 million range today, but uh, not 200 million shares. There was no mass sell-off to, uh, to uh, watch and certainly it looks to me like the shares have run out of gas on the sell side. Now the question is, will there be a steady accumulation by investors knowing what they know and hearing what they're hearing about the company becoming an online seller? Uh, stealing people from Amazon and Chewy, I think is a very good idea. We'll see how it plays out. There it is, folks. The latest news for you on GameStop today, February the 3rd, 2021. The company adding staff to their online division, and they're going to sink a bunch of money in there. Don't be surprised if several hundred employees will be scooped up, brought in, and they will ramp that thing up. There are 2.2 to 2.4 billion gamers around the world, and GameStop is going after them for the business instead of trying to sell games and systems through 5,000 retail locations. Uh, there was no way they could handle 2.4 billion clients with just 5,000 stores, but you can do it online. Thank you for joining me tonight. Thank you for subscribing, thumbs ups, PayPal donations, you name it. We'll see you again real soon. Bye for now.